Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jason Love with Jason Loves Life. If you're finding me on YouTube, you can actually go ahead and go to www.jasonloveslife.com. This is going to be a video blog, but I also have made a text version of this. Um, actually, I'm doing the text version ver first, and now I'm doing a video version. So if you're actually on the website, I'm glad that you're here, and you can either read the post or you can watch this video. This video is basically going to be the same thing, or you could do both. Um, but it's basically going to be a um, video version of this uh, post. Uh, now, today's been a very exciting day. I went ahead and, and made the decision to submit the Mad Men of Magic to Image Comics. Woohoo! Uh, in case you don't know, I, I assume everyone who's who's listening to this, uh, watching this, or you know, reading this, already have an idea of what or who Image Comics is. But basically, they're a publisher of the now famous Walking Dead. Uh, some of you may not know who Walking Dead is, but if you're into comics, you know who Walking Dead are. Um, or even if you just do, you know, basically they're all over the place. Image is a is the American comic book publisher that is well known among comic book creators for allowing creators to keep the copyright of their creations, which is kind of a unique idea, especially if you look at like Marvel and DC and them. Now the company was founded by a group of illustrators who worked for the big comic book companies, but were sick of not seeing any of the profits from their creation. So basically, when I made this decision, I sent out a twi uh, tweet that's. Basically, I said, uh, I'm submitting the Mad Man and Magic comic book to Image Comics today. Retweet if you think they should publish my comic book, www.madmanandmagic.com. Now, I posted this tweet, and probably about 24 hours later, I, I kind of assumed I would get, you know, maybe 20, you know, really lucky 30 retweets. Well, as you can see from the image, I ended up getting 108 retweets retweets. Now that to me is just amazing. I, I just want to say thank you for everyone who retweeted that. Um, it actually was cool because it helped build up some uh, extra views on my Mad Men and Magic website. I didn't get any kind of response from Image. I don't even know if they get contacted in any way. So my guess is that, you know, it, it probably didn't catch their eye, but to me it just shows that people really want to see this comic book in the comic book shops. Um, the the reaction was more than I ever expected. Uh, with that kind of support, it, it's really hard for me not to at least send in a submission. Now let me, I guess, introduce you to the process. Uh, I figured since I'm sending in a submission, I would go ahead and talk about the process. Uh, remember that Image Comics could change the submission process at any time. So you may want to go to the website, which is basically imagecomics.com backslash submissions. That's the submissions page currently, or you can just Google it as I did, and you can see what this, the current process entails. Now, what, why publish with image? My, and I, I've had a few people on Facebook kind of saying, oh, just self-publish. Now, my original plan over a year ago um, was to self-publish the Metaman Magic series. Uh, it makes the most, at the time, it made the most sense to me because I, I could have complete control over uh, the comic while learning the business side of the publishing industry. Um, but this has changed for three very important reasons. Now, number one is cost. Now, I knew it was going to be expensive to publish my own comic book, but there were, were several several factors I didn't take into consideration. Now, the big ones were shipping and marketing. Now, uh, I assumed marketing would cost money. Obviously, shipping, I just didn't, you just don't think about that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're going to order a thousand comic books, shipping a thousand comic books. Uh, it's pretty expensive. Um, marketing, I assumed, was going to be there, but I think it's going to end up costing a lot more than I expected. Now, if Image is willing to front the expense on printing and shipping, I can actually put all my financial resources and time into marketing. The second big reason is their reach. Image has a very strong and loyal fan base. I also have built up a loyal following. I, I prefer to call them friends. So those of you who are new and you know first time watching either this video or first time reading one of my posts, I consider you a new friend. Now, those of you that have been reading a while, you guys are old friends. Um, I just I just prefer to think of you guys that way. Um, now, Image has 100 times more people following them, interested in them. So if they connect with me, I then have the opportunity to interest their fans in my work. Um, the third big reason is filtering. Now, Image 
filtering specifically in the comic book shop. Image Comics, or even, you know, in comic book shops, you know, Comixology, things like that. Image Comics gets a lot of submissions per month from independent artists, meaning if they choose a project, then customers know that Image has said this is good. For customers, a product with an Image logo means that it is a quality comic book. If it is an independent comic book, they're kind of taking a gamble. Image Comics does the filtering for them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the steps to submitting to Image Comics. Step number one, you have to have an original project. The great thing about Image Comics is that they only publish creator-owned material. In other words, if you're looking for a job as a writer or uh, an artist, you, you should probably go somewhere else. Um, this also means their business model isn't based on screwing artists out of their creator out of their creations. Um, I mean, uh, artists and creators out of their creations. Uh, this is basically a big reason why I'm going with them. If you have followed me at all, you already know that I, I have an original project, as I mentioned, the Madman of Magic comic book, um, and I've been working on this for over a year. So, it, uh, you know, we already have step one, and I assume if you're, if you're going through the submission process, you already have an idea. Um, now, step two is you want to create and print some pages. Um, they want to see at least five fully inked and lettered pages. If you already have a story in mind, an artist picked out, uh, even if it's yourself, and an art style chosen, to see how you plan to execute the comic, Image asks you to send a minimum of five fully inked and lettered pages. They specifically ask for them not to be originals because they will not be sending them back. So you want to print them, you want to print them high quality. Uh, lucky for us, uh, my wife and I, we have the first comic... Uh, down um thanks to our kickstarter backers it's it's completed and a lot of hard work um our plan is to send the comic book with some merchandise we have left over from the kickstarter campaign hoping it'll help us get an edge right now it's basically gonna be stickers uh we thought about sending t-shirts and some other stuff but we think that might be overkill um step three you want to design some cover art now image comics attaches a lot of importance in the cover art you submit according to their site let's let's them know um, whether or not you understand the market and gives us gives them a good barometer on your design sense. So take your time and make sure your cover you submit is well designed, catches the reader's eye, and piques interest in what the comic is about. Step four, type up a one-page synopsis of the story. Another very important part of the submission is to have a one-page synopsis of your story. The website warns against trying to be too dramatic in the writing. Um, they don't want... Uh, they don't want you to have cliffhangers. They want to know what the story is going to be. So instead, they want to see the quality of the content and the story arcs and that there is something worth reading. Uh, for me, this is was the most difficult part because we have we have basically a first draft of a entire series, the the basic outline. Um, but I had to distill it down to one, one page was, was a little bit difficult. Uh, I hope that I, I caught all the messages and, and concepts that I want to be in the comic um, and I hope I did it justice uh, but at the same time it was it was a good exercise in breaking the story down into a simplified one page document especially I get asked a lot you know what's my comic book about so it's a good opportunity to sort of have that you know figured out a little bit better um, so step five you want to write up a cover letter image makes it clear that this is the least important part of the process. The focus should be on the project itself, um, your your cover, your you know everything pretty much before this, uh, and not a fancy cover letter explaining um, how much you love the comic or how much other people love the comic or how much you love Image Comics. They want to make it simple, uh, basically give them contact information and focus on everything else for submission. So so focusing on um, your artwork and the, the idea. Step six, take that all together and you send it all in. Um, now you can actually submit it two ways. You can submit it through the post office, which is the way I'm doing it. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm, I'm kind of assuming that that's probably the least likely way most people do it. Um, just because I assume most people are going to email it in. You can also email it in and I was tempted just to email it in. But I kind of feel like there's something cool about them being able to actually pull out and see that I have a full comic book. Granted that it's not colored. Um, it's black and white, but maybe, I don't know, because they kind of say in the thing that they 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 might um, suggest 
a colorist that coloring shouldn't shouldn't be like the biggest thing because uh they i think they realize that that's kind of a pain um and so uh they said not to really worry about that so hopefully i haven't worried about it luckily i kind of designed it to be in black and white with the possibility to have a little bit of color so we'll we'll see what happens um so again we'll go over the final checklist to make sure that you have everything you need to include a cover letter with the contact information a one-page synopsis of the overall story a cover mock-up and printed pages and that's it uh, one thing that image warns people against is that you should not try to hand them submissions at events which makes sense because of all the things going on and the equipment that needs to be moved to and from the event it'd be a pain to have um you know all these things that you have to carry uh so i'm going to try to keep you guys up to date according to the website it should take about a month if i don't hear anything in a month kind of assume that um just assume that they're not going to get back to me and they're not accepting it. Uh, I'll keep you all updated. And uh, if you have projects that you're submitting, um, feel free to tell me about your experience. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on mine. You can you can tell me about yours in the comment section at www.jasonloveslife.com backslash. I'll put this in backslash image comics submissions. Those are image comics with an S submissions. Um, all one word, image comics submissions. That's also too if you're getting this at the um, YouTube video and you actually want to read the, the article instead, you can go ahead and go to that that link as well. It's just jasonloveslife.com backslash image comics submissions. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope you guys have a very creative day and good luck on all your comics. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.